Okay, video reflection number three. Um, I'm recording this a couple days after our visit with Ray um, in Westlake, uh, though I wrote down my thoughts, a few of my expectations before the actual meeting. So um, kind of what I wrote down uh, was that I expected that when we'd get there, we meet him, um, listen to his story, maybe walk through his house, uh, discussing some of the challenges that he faces as a result of his spinal cord injury. Um, and uh, m that my group might bring up um, our project and ask for ideas or just uh, struggles he has in some form that could um, give us ideas. Uh, things to think about for a potential project. Um, so I was feeling a little bit nervous um, beforehand, definitely as I am ahead of any social interaction, pretty much to some extent, um, especially groups and with new people and people that I don't really know too well. Um, I was apprehensive or hesitant um, thinking about questions uh, that I'd ask um, about his life with his impairment um, because you don't know, I, d I, didn't, I don't know um, exactly what he could be sensitive to or what could make him uncomfortable. Um, and I was also definitely excited because um, he sounded like a guy with a very interesting story. Um, I do some mountain biking myself and have wanted to go to his mountain bike park for a long time i'm going to get there someday this winter probably um so i expected he'd be enthusiastic in talking about that um as well uh and he was definitely so during and after my thoughts um were that ray was very nice uh welcoming welcoming guy as was his sister he had a very nice house um and I got the impression he had, um, or he had some interesting and I'd say hopeful perspectives. Um, it, it surprised me when he said that he'd been described by students and other people in the past as being happier than, uh, coming across as happier than people in similar situations to his, um, that have gone through similar experiences. Um, that, that could definitely be accurate. Um, so Katie and Claire had some great questions about Ray, Ray's emotions throughout different experiences in, in his life. Um, he talked about his alcoholism a little bit and then him discovering mountain biking, his accident. Um, he talked about his thoughts and relationships with different doctors. Um, and then they had great questions about that and about his sense of community um, now with his impairment. Um, so that kind of made me feel less inclined to ask some of the more surface level questions that that I wanted to know about, uh, about his daily life and activities and stuff. Um, you know, I was thinking, I was feeling like they weren't good enough compared to uh, the depth um, of, of the questions Katie and, and Claire had. I shouldn't have let that stop me as much as it did, though. Um, Apart from that, it was a it was a very comfortable uh, group to converse with, uh, despite my bit of um, apprehension ahead of time. Um, I also hesitated asking a lot of mountain biking questions um, because when we got there, I st started thinking, oh, maybe he won't want to talk about this a ton because he used to be so passionate about mountain biking um, and now he no longer has the ability to uh, so that's kind of what I was thinking for a while in the meeting, but then we talked about the two new like adaptive bikes that he got. We saw them in his garage. They were really cool. And um, it got me thinking deeply. What got me thinking deeply was his enthusiasm that he had for those bikes and um, learning to ride them and upgrading them and working with them. Um, six Over six years after his accident, he's persevering with his cycling passions um so strongly and that that was reassuring to me um that I and other people who have similar um interests and hobbies wouldn't necessarily have to give up those passions uh, if something similar were to happen